Today's video topic is the tomato flu. The tomato flu is a new contagious disease that is affecting young children in India. It can be transmitted through close contact with an infected person, and it can also spread through contact with contaminated surfaces, such as doorknobs, door handles, surfaces or objects used by infected persons. This disease is called the tomato flu as it causes painful red blisters that look like a tomato. Who is at risk? The exact causes of developing tomato flu are still unknown, but we know that it is young children who have the highest risk of getting the tomato flu. This is because they share toys, tools, and they touch a lot of surfaces throughout their day. They also may put contaminated objects in their mouth. It should be noted that adults also can get the tomato flu, if it is not contained in the coming months, but now it is affecting children in India, and we still do not know exactly if this is a new virus or a variation of another virus we know about. Symptoms of Tomato Flu Patients with tomato flu may experience many symptoms, including body aching, fatigue, joint swelling and pain, fever, nausea, and vomiting. All these symptoms are also accompanied with red painful blisters we talked about. The good news here is that tomato flu is not a life-threatening disease. Treatment of tomato flu So, currently, there is no treatment or cure for the tomato flu, but it is a self-limiting infection, meaning that it goes away on its own without specific treatments. It usually takes 7 to 10 days to go away, but generally, the treatment plan for tomato flu is similar to that of the chikungunya disease as they are pretty similar, so the patient needs to rest and isolate from other people to prevent spreading the disease. Also, the patient needs to drink large amounts of fluids, and in some cases, painkillers like paracetamol are needed to help reduce the joints aching. Prevention of tomato flu As for preventing the infection with tomato flu, some precautions are needed for children. First, they should avoid contact with infected persons so they should avoid hugging, shaking hands, and playing with people who show symptoms of the disease. Also, they should avoid sharing toys, clothes, and tools in school. And you should also regularly clean the child's tools and clothes. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.